Yes. Um, good morning. Uh, I am good a morning. new teacher in Gangwon Wang Greg and Wang School. Uh, in my class, I focused on the third stimulate about pyro pyro knowledge. I reviewed the vocabulary from the previous lesson. I asked the students to review words in groups. This made it in in the personal. Then I provide sentences and context for their words. This helped them to remember the past lesson and the vocabulary. Then they could write their own sentence with the words. The last one, communication is uh, between teacher and student is important from very early on in my students' education because it helps to give them the confidence they need, uh, they need to discuss together any, any issue that um, they need to discuss any issue that's club up. For example, increasing vocabulary can enable students to express the need for help or a lack, a lack of understanding in certain area. And this can certainly help to improve their overall educational success in English in the future. Great. Thank you. That was a very nice kind of a comprehensive response about all the various things uh, that you do, but also the outcomes of that. Um, again, you're starting by talking about group work, but also using that to stimulate uh, memory of events or topics that happened in a prior lesson. So asking the students to use their English language skills with each other to try to remember what happened before to review so that they're ready to go on to the next thing. You also talked about um, confidence. And I do think that, I mean, you're right, that students have to be able to speak not only to each other, but to the teacher in order to clarify what might be understood and not understood. And certainly, when a student begins to be able to express their understanding or lack of understanding using English, rather than reverting to using uh, Thai language, that's definitely a big step for students when they can even express what they don't understand using English. I think we do get, we see the confidence of the students grow in that, in that element. So good, thank you very much. ค่ะทางหัวหินอาจารย์ก็ออกตัวว่าเป็นอาจารย์เพิ่งเพิ่งมีประสบการณ์น้อยแต่สิ่งที่อาจารย์ได้กล่าวมานี่เอ่อเห
at a couple of techniques that, again, are not going to be brand new. One is something we've looked at before, which is non-linguistic representations, and also the use of questions and cues. Uh, you have a handout that I'm going to ask you to pull out. It looks like it's a single page, and it's got natural intelligence highlighted. Uh, and there's two, there's two columns. One is common characteristics, and the other one is career matches. Uh, you haven't been asked so far to chat with your partner, but now is going to be your chance to do so. I would like you to look at the common characteristics of um, the naturalist intelligence. And first of all, to assess yourself, do you think that you have strong naturalist intelligence? Is it something that's very important to you? Uh, but also, can you think of a student that you've worked with who maybe has particularly strong natural intelligence? So you see we've got these lists of characteristics here that are actually on the next slide as well. But the idea of um, people who really are bothered by pollution, who likes having pets around, likes to be outside in nature, appreciates scenery, um, likes, notices changes of nature, notices changes of weather. Um, I have to give an example, and then I'm thinking about our colleagues in Nankai. My father, um, who is now 91 years old, was a farmer his life. And he always could tell that a storm is coming. He wouldn't listen to the radio. He wouldn't watch the television. He just knew. He would watch, observe how the clouds changed, and he would know that the weather was changing. He could actually feel the barometric pressure drop, you know, which is a, sim a symbol that we're going to have a storm. He could just feel it um, in his own body. And I'm thinking about our colleague in Nong Kai when he talks about working with these students who work in an agricultural setting who live in the middle of the jungle. I would imagine that possibly you find many students in that environment who have a strong naturalist intelligence. For students who live in Bangkok, they might have a strong naturalist intelligence, but it might not be developed as much because we're dealing so much with city life. So I'll let um, Ajarn do a little summary, and then I want you to talk with one another about yourself, and if you can think of any students who have a particularly strong natural intelligence that you can think of in your own experience. ตอนนี้เราก็จะเริ่มมาทําเอ่อกิจกรรมกันเล็กน้อยนะคะอาจารย์จะเห็นบนสกรีนที่อาจารย์มาร์ตี้ได้ให้ในแฮนด์เอา
uh, random offerings. So go ahead and uh, talk with your partner. No, it's, it's not matching. Yeah, no, it's just, it's just this. อาจารย์คิดว่าตัวเองเนี่ยค่ะมีเอ่อคีนด้านไหนบ้างในในลิสต์ที่ให้มาหรือว่านักเรียนของเราจากเราสังเกตนักเรียนเรามีลิสต์
um, somebody who lives with a family but is uh, an important uh, part of the family but is an animal. It's interesting. So you've already noticed that that's a topic that many students enjoy and enjoy uh, talking about and writing about. What's another example from anywhere? Anybody Bangkok want to offer something? Uh, yes, please. We have a volunteer here. Thank you. For, sorry. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Um, for the students in Bangkok, uh, sometimes they have no place or thing to do for something. But uh, for the students that I observe them, they like to observe the nature and like to camping. Uh -huh. uh, uh, for uh, one time per year, we, we take the students to go to the zoo. Uh, they like to talk about everything. For example, for, for, the, for the animals or the, um, the tree or all. And they, when they come back to the school, they like to talk uh, about that for about a week per week like that. Yeah. And they like to do uh, to act like the like the animal like the uh, like this yes right, right. okay you. thank you so yeah this is a point that even even for the students who live uh, in the very big city of Bangkok if they can get out and get into the natural world sometimes it's it gives them a lot to talk about they're excited and interested and also uh, just visiting the zoo and then maybe acting or uh, playing as if they're one of those animals. Uh, anything else? Anybody from Nong Kai want to add something to that about what your students like or what you like to do in nature? Hello. Uh, in my school, many students always talk about the nature. Uh, they always talk about swimming in the pond, uh, they are going to the field as in the nature. Uh, we don't have uh, going to the market, going to the sea, going to the supermarket, but we are talking about swimming in the pond, uh, going to uh, the field for planting something in the field like this. Thank you. Right. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I, I really appreciate that designation between going to the cinema, going to the supermarket. Oftentimes in the textbooks that we have been given, students, uh, the people, the characters in the book are doing things like that. Um, whereas your students are talking about planting something, swimming in the pond, so you can see how their own life because it revolves more around the natural world than it would perhaps in a big city, they have a different orientation. So I'll have a little summary of all three. Thank you. ท่านอาจารย์จากทั้งกรุงเทพนะคะหนองคายแล้วก็หัวหินนะคะก็มีความให้เห็นตรงกันอย่างหนึ่งนะคะคือว่านักเรียนของเราเนี่ยถ้าพูดถึงธรรมชาติพูดถึงสัตว์เลี้ยงเนี่ยเขาก็จะมีอะไรที่จะพูดถึงมานําเสนอมากมายซึ่งตรงนี้เนี่ยจะเป็นประโยชน์อย่างยิ่งกับการเรียนการสอนนะคะการทํากิจกรรมนะคะเพราะว่านําสามารถนํามาผสมผสานได้นะคะแล้วก็จะเห็นว่าท่านอาจารย์ถักกรุงเทพก็บอกว่านักเรียนของอาจารย์เนี่ยไม่ค่อยได้มีโอกาสออกไปอยู่ในธรรมชาติเท่าไหร่ในขณะที่นักเรียนของท่านอาจารย์ที่หนองคายเนี่ยมีโอกาสมากมายนะคะก็เพราะฉะนั้นนะคะธรรมชาตินะคะก็เป็นอีกสิ่งหนึ่งซึ่งสามารถที่จะกระตุ้นการในรู้ของนักเรียนได้ค่ะ All right so we it's important that we acknowledge um, some of the questions that come around uh, multiple intelligences in general but for some reason the naturalist intelligence specifically has raised some questions you have in your packet a short article. It just, it, the title is No Reviews of Learning. It's several pages long. I'm not sure it's worth putting up on the visualizer, but it's um, just something for you to read. So one of the questions that has emerged is, 
Is the natural intelligence a true intelligence? Or is it an interest? And even as our colleagues in Nankai tell us, it's actually part of the context of their students' lives day to day to day. It's really what they do is they spend time in nature. So is it uh, a very different way of seeing the world? Or is it based on how people interact in the world? But if we're going to say that about the naturalist intelligence, couldn't we say that about rhythmic musical intelligence also? Couldn't we say it about mathematical intelligence also? That perhaps do we become interested in something because we're good at it, or are we good at it because we're interested in it? It's a little bit of a chicken egg kind of thing. Which comes first? Um, and I would like to hear your thoughts. I'm going to let you just chat with a partner after we have translation. But I just have one example to give. And that is, I'm sure you have seen, I have seen very small children, for example, who love to just get down in the grass and look for little creatures. You know, they want to find the insects. They can be very small, two years old, three years old. They're just so curious or they want to watch the birds. Whereas another child, same age, could care less. So it almost looks like something that comes to that child naturally. Or perhaps somebody who I have also kn known small children who have a beautiful voice for singing and love to sing and will start singing almost before they can talk. And another child who do doesn't care about music. So I think we can make the case that maybe there is natural inclinations, but I'm going to ask for translation, then just a couple of contributions quickly to the thought of, is this an intelligence or is it just an interest? ค่ะอันนี้เราจะมาดูคําถามที่เราจะลองมาคุยกันนะคะว่าเอ่อความสามารถพิเศษหรืออินเทลเลเจนซ์เนี่ยมันเป็นอินเทลเลเจนซ์
it's the way she is and it's, it's her way of expressing herself so she may not like the studies so much but she loves to draw yeah that's a great example anybody else want to offer another one either about naturalist intelligence or any of the intelligences your observations of your students or yourself one more contribution hua hin nanka anybody Yes, please, go ahead. Nankai, go ahead. Yeah. And I observe for, uh, I have experience for teaching kindergarten to the high school level for my past. As I can see, our duty for the teacher is inspire them, like uh, give them to taste what the ability they have I teach uh, kindergarten, I let them sing a song, like, uh, today it's raining, we sing, singing in the rain, whatever, <laughs> to inspire them, yes. And right. if someone, when I telling them story, some kids want to tell the same, we let them do, and then see, to see the ability, how to develop them, like uh, to memorizing, to inspire them, to see how they like. What, whatever the ability they have. That is a, yes, that's my experience to yeah, give them. Great. Yeah, great, Th thank, thank you. you. And this comes from somebody who is teaching the whole range from uh, the small children all the way up through high school. But I love that you use the word two or three times, inspire. And I, and I do believe that thinking about multiple intelligences can help us to inspire students. So perhaps um, we have those students to go back to the naturalist intelligence who really don't like to be inside. They are thinking all the time about going outside, about going home, about playing, about swimming in the pond, about um, taking a walk in the forest or going to the park in Bangkok. We have people who perhaps prefer that. So how do we get them to sort of uh, be inspired by what they're interested in. And I, I really like your comment that that's our job as teachers to try to find some inspiration. ท่านอาจารย์ที่กรุงเทพนะคะก็ได้พูดถึงนักเรียนของท่านอาจารย์นะคะที่สังเกตว่าไม่ชอบเรียนหนังสือแต่ชอบวาดรูปนะคะอา
The idea with a linguistic, non-linguistic representation is that it includes words. It can include, it might not, but the visual is equally important to the words. So you try to add something that uh, triggers another part of the mind in addition to the words. I could have this slide just as a slide that talks about how to have a healthy lifestyle. It might be just a list, and that would be fine. It would have the same information on it. But when I portray it this way, it now has the indication of arrows, which makes us think about a process. So we say, OK, a healthy lifestyle brings us a healthy body and mind. So if we do healthy things, we have a healthy body and mind, which gives us hopefully a longer life and greater well-being, greater well-being being the goal. So when I put the idea into a non-linguistic representation, I mean, it has words, but the arrows, it gives us an idea of a process. Maybe just summarize that one, and I'll go on to the next one after. Okay. อาจารย์มาเจอกับพูดถึงเอ่อวิชวลนะคะนอนลิงกวิสติกเรพเรสเซนเทชันนะคะว่าเอ่อวิชวลเนี่ยก็มีความสําคัญพอๆกับคําน
to our learners if we're trying to um, encourage new ways of thinking. When we focus on questions, there are a number of topic areas that, again, you probably all use, but I'm just going to run through them briefly before you have a chance to just look at one of the texts in our book. Questions, obviously, can be about things or people, actions, events, states of being, uh, meaning how people are feeling or what's going on in their mind. So under things or people, and then I'll get a little summary of this, what action does Marty usually do um, in her first hour after she wakes up? So we're just trying to think habitual things that might go with the text. You might find that the text now has something different happening, but as a way of thinking about it, we might say, what would Marty usually do? How is uh, a pen usually used? Maybe in this case, the pen is being used for a very different purpose. But when we ask, how is it usually used, we already have the students thinking. What is a steering wheel part of? Typically, it's part of a car. Maybe it's part of something else in this case. So this is, again, we can use questions to trigger students' curiosity about something. อาจารย์มาร์ตี้ก็บอกว่าคิวหรือครูซึ่งนะคะคําถามเนี่ยของการสอนของอาจารย์นะคะหรือว่าคําถามที่ 2 อย่างพาร์ทออฟนะคะอย่างเช่นถามว่าไอ้ตัวเอ่อไอ้ที่หมุนๆคิดใช้วิธีคิดคิดวิเคราะห์นะคะคําถามนั้นคําถามเนี่ยสําคัญมากๆไม่ใช่คําไม่ใช่คําถามธรรมดาในเทคซึ่งเราอ่านคําตอบหา
even before they work with it. And since it is a text about an island, you can also think about the naturalist intelligence. How could you begin to inspire their naturalist intelligence with your questions? So this is, you're going to work with a partner for three or four minutes, and then we'll hear from all three sites, beginning with Bangkok. อาจารย์มาร์ตี้ให้เราเริ่มลองทําบทเรียนนะคะในตอนนี้อาจารย์จะดูจากซีฮัลโหลหน้า 113 นะคะสิ่งของ people บุคคลหรือแม้กระทั่งแอคชั่นอะไรก็ได้โดยเฉพาะตอนนี้เป็นเรื่องของการไปเที่ยวเกี่ยวกับธรรมชาติคำถามน่าจะเป็นคำถาม
in God's, in Summit Island? Or uh, what will you do there? What can you buy like this? Okay, right. that, that's all we have. Maybe yeah, it's all about the nature. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Thank you. Because again, I think one of the ways, and you, and I, I appreciate you mentioning the the level of the student, because obviously we want to gear our questions for the right level of our student. But also, it's interesting that you might that might be a way of discovering the intelligences of your student. There might be somebody in the class who really knows a lot about what kind of plants grow uh, near the beach on an island. And maybe they actually can say, oh, we're going to see this one, and we're going to see this one, and this one, and that'll be interesting. You'll find out that they actually know a lot about the natural world. So you, you offered many great examples. If we could just summarize all three, please. ค่ะอาจารย์ทั้งอาจารย์ทั้งอาจารย์ทั้งได้ได้ให้ข้อเสนอเนี่ยที่แตกต่างกันซึ่งน่าสนใจมากอย่างการทางกรุงเทพก็
the 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 answer the answer the for the student right so this is a, a basic principle yes. i'd say i agree with you it's an important one yeah that the question is a genuine question for the student to answer we don't tell them what the answer is we wait to see what they say and what they think in a sense we call that sometimes an open-ended question it means we actually are curious we want to know what the students know or think and i would add one more criteria myself and that would be that we want to avoid questions where the answer is yes or no <laughs> those questions are too easy too easy we don't have to think so do you enjoy the beach yes better question is what do you enjoy about the beach that forces the students to think okay little summary then we'll go to the assignment ค่ะอาจารย์ก็บอกว่าคําถามที่ดีนะคะทางท่านอาจารย์ท่านครูเบลบอกเป็นคําถามที่เอ่อโยงไปถึงเอ่อเป้าหมายนะคะจุดมุ
นะคะโดยวิธีไหนแล้วก็อีกคำถามหนึ่งนะคะก็คือว่าอาจารย์ใช้คำถามลักษณะไหนนะคะที่จะเป็นการกระตุ้นให้ทักเรียนในหาคำตอบเองแน่นอนต้องไม่ใช่ yes no แน่นอนนะคะแล้วก็อย่างที่เรียนก็คือว่าเราต้องไม่กลัวนะคะที่จะตั้งคำถามปลายเปิดไม่กลัวที่นักเรียนจะตอบคำถามซึ่งเราไม่ได้เตรียมตัวมาก่อนนะะเพราะว่านั่นเป็นการกระตุ้นการเรียนรู้ของนักเรียนกระตุ้นให้นักเรียนรู้จักคิดการเรียนนะคะให้นักเรียนรู้จักคิดนะคะไม่ใช่เรียนเพื่อท่องจำหรือเรียนเฉพาะในบทเรียนเท่านั้นค่ะ All right so I want to wish you good luck with your work and continue to focus use reflection think about what you're doing Compare them to other ideas that you have learned. Next time, Ajahn s h e Sanchez will be with you, and um, I will be watching on the television. So please bring your ideas so I can see what you have come up with um, in the lesson. So until I see you again, I wish you very best luck, good teaching. ค่ะก็กันบ้านที่อาจารย์มาที่มอบหมายนะคะก็เราจะต้องนำมามานำเสนอให้อาจารย์เชในคราวหน้านะคะก็อาจารย์เชรอนซันเชสค่ะจะเป็นวิทยากรท่านต่อไปของเรานะคะซึ่งเราจะพบกับท่านในครั้งหน้าค่ะสำหรับวันนี้นะคะจบการอบรมเพียงเท่านี้นะคะเราพบกันในครั้งหน้าขอบคุณค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ